I'm going to start a little documentation on building a um, temperature control for a smoker. Out in the party house I have a couple different smokers. Uh, one of them's large for doing, we call it casing smoked sausage. Those are the the sausage casings that, that we smoke in the big smoker. I have a, a setup for running the heat in it and I'm going to try to build a PID to uh, control the temperature which is just basically running a fan and all that is is a, um, a PID temperature controller and you can pick these up relatively inexpensive I think I got this one for 12 bucks on eBay it's just a standard uh, temperature control you would use for oven or uh, they use these for all kinds of things like incubators you can use them for controlling um, oh like lead ovens for making bullets there's a number of things you can do for with these for controlling temperature but what we're going to do is control a fan with it so that we can keep the uh, temperature consistent in the uh, smoker box and how it works is it has a thermocouple this is a uh, PT100 thermocouple which has a long probe and you can get them in various probes uh, lengths they come in all different sizes. This is a, I believe this is a K or a J. Um, this is a K type thermocouple. This is one that just comes with the, it comes with the unit itself. It's got a probe that's closer to the, to the wire. It might be, if you screwed it in through a metal housing, it might, it might interfere a little bit if the, if the metal, um, takes temperature away so I think the longer probe would be nice so I got one of each this is a solid state relay and all this does is control the fan so you would run your power through the AC side and then the DC side goes into the uh, unit to turn this on and off this is all low voltage and this is your uh, alternating current voltage to control whatever it is you're controlling. You can get these in different parameters for what you're what you're shooting for. You can see that's between three and 32 volts DC. This bottom side, like I said, comes from the PID. This upper side is um, 24, 380 volts AC. So you can run a, a pretty decent. Um, you can run a, run a pretty decent heating unit through this. It's uh, it's only it's 25 amps, so anything up to 25 amps. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount this in this box. This is just a work box. You can buy all this stuff online on eBay. But that'll mount in there, and then it'll have the, the thermal couple. Everything will disconnect from this, and I'll have plugs for hooking it all up so I can just plug everything into the box so this plug right here will actually get put onto the thermal couple so that it can just plug right into the box and then I'll have a, an AC connector so I can use just a standard like a computer cord I don't know what they're called but the standard computer cord and then this is a uh, this is a low this is just an alarm just a, a low voltage alarm and I'm going to use this for a low temp alarm so if it gets below my set parameter, it'll go off and let me know when I'm around to hear it, actually. So I'm going to go out and um, take a look at the smoker, and then we'll check out how that's all going to work out, and then uh, I'll get to building this thing. This is the smoker. All it is is a old uniform box from Sintas. It's about 46 by 46 by generally six feet tall or so, a little less. It's got a. It's got the gauge right there in the center. So if you look, I have metal tubes that go through. In pretty decent because the amount of weight that goes on is pretty substantial. They've just got some stainless hooks on them. They get about a hundred pounds of meat on this 
particular rig. You could add more tubes as well, but they hang down. Well, let me go back here. There is the firebox. Just an old smoker. I know you can't see it, but there's a smoker down in there. And then there's a tube that goes in. So you would fill that full of charcoal and some of your smoke wood. And then that's just, just a mattress, like a Intex mattress pump that you get from Walmart. They're about $10 and it's 110 volts. So the, the box that I'm making will control that. So what will happen is if you look at the tubes, the casings, the meat casings are generally 20 inches long, the ones that I, or the little string that ties on. So about 11 inches or so will put you in the center of where that tube will hang down. I get you right in the midpoint of the, of, of the tube of meat. So you can kind of keep a general heat setting, but I'll probably put it up here in the front because the front of this is up under the building right here. Keep all the electronics minus that. I'll have to build a little cover over that in case it rains when I'm doing a doing a smoking session on this thing. Just give you a kind of an idea of what it is. If I had full tubes in there, I could get well, depending if I had you know, two or three pound tubes. You could get upwards of two or three hundred pounds of meat hanging in that thing. These are 55 gallon drums of cherry. We have these split and cut down into chunks that we use in the smokers. We pretty much exclusively use cherry. I won't say that all the time we do. Sometimes we'll switch to, we have apple, which apple's a little bit harder to come by. Um, if you're not wanting to buy it. We use uh, sassafras as well. Sassafras is an excellent smoking wood. It's got a different flavor. But cherry is generally what we use. I'm probably going to cut the video short and then I'll do a part two on the build of the electronic. If you want to check out the build of that, come on back and check it out. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.